Stitches of love in the soul In this online world we come to grow Mom and Pop will chart where hearts align Let's embrace the craft and let our souls shine Hello everyone! Welcome to the Mama Pop Quilt Shop Studio. I am Laura Lynn. We're working on a weekend project. It is a storage unit for all sorts of little knickknacks. You can have it in the bathroom, the kitchen, the quilt shop, your craft area, wherever you may need something like this. It is made with fabric. So I have four pieces of fabric and one piece of heavy, um, heavyweight stabilizer. And it's just the iron, sorry, not iron in, it is sew in. Uh, but you could use the iron in if you wanted to, okay? And that just gives it a little bit more of stability for holding things. So I have this one here. It's got some thread, my glasses, some snips, a pair of scissors, seam ripper, clips, safety pins, regular pins, buttons, marking things. So this part is a good size, and you can use a layer cake to make this project, okay? So if you do want to make a bigger one, this one is done with a 14 inch square and it's actually a really good size too. So I this perfect sort sorting your Lego out, you know, beads. So we're going to start off here with a 10 inch square of fabric. And then I have this nice little hoop. I was like, okay, what do I have around here that's circular? And I do cross stitching. So this hoop is a perfect size. It is a 10 inch hoop. And I'm going to just do is make a circle. So I'm going to use that for four pieces of fabric, whichever you can mix and match or patchwork it, whatever you like. Just make sure you have four pieces and then you'll need one piece for the stabilizer. And I just took that and do a little trace around it. And that is my cutting. Okay, so once you get all that sorted, make sure the circle is inside of the fabric. Just going to hold it on the one edge. Do a little circle all the way around and then that's going to be your cut line. Make sure we got it. Yes, we did. You can see that. And then we're just going to cut all the way around on that one. So uh, we could pin it in a couple spots. Of course, I took off, put all my pins away when I was tying it up. <laughs> What's with that? So you just pin. I usually put uh, put all the stack together and then just trimmed out. Okay. And then once you get your pieces. You're going to have one for stabilizer. And I did piece this one. I monstered it together. Who's going to see it? It doesn't matter. Got some beautiful floral here, a lovely blue, some checkered purple. And again, it has, I put a little patchwork up on here. I bet you nobody's going to see that. And then some cute little flamingos and some toucans with some pineapple. Okay, so of course we're going to go the right sides together for the fabrics. Okay. And then on one of the sides, the back side, uh, you're going to make sure you add the stabilizer. And then you're going to take it to the sewing machine and you're going to sew a quarter of an inch. Just follow the edge all the way around. Make sure your edge is kind of lined up the best you can. You may have to kind of wiggle and figgle your... That's why I, I like cutting it all at once. So then the shape is very similar to the other piece. Okay. Just kind of lay it out. And I just overlap this by about a quarter of an inch and then just stitch straight down and that's it. Utilize what you have. And then we'll just come in and sew a quarter of an inch all the way around. So just pop it underneath the chin and go all the way, all the way. You want to completely enclose it, enclose it. Enclose it. It's so cozy. Just get cozy with the fabric. <laughs> that's the plan, people. Hope you're having a really good week so far. I can't believe it's Mother's Day on Sunday. Where did the time go? Just go all the way. And if you keep to a consistency of allowance, when you get to where you end off, it should be all the way in close. You want to do that for the two. So the one piece has the stabilizer on it and one has just the two bits of fabric together okay so once you get those two done okay, we'll just pop that off to the side here because I have that done here already do, do, do. okay you're gonna have two pieces like this now you're gonna have to cut you're gonna pull it apart so you got the stabilizer and the fabric on one side you can see that there it's actually pulled apart and then this side here you want to kind of go right in the center 
and cut a slit in both ways. You're going to go this way and this way. Here, I'll even mark it. So you're going to go there and there. You're going to cut a slit. Okay. And then this one here, same, there and there. But you only want to go through the one layer of fabric. So you want to make sure you're popping it out like a little tent. Okay. And then once you cut that there, you can see I just went through that one layer and then we're going to give some there and there and then same on this one. You want to pop them apart make them like a poopy little tent. Okay. This is a great way to do circles of all sizes. Okay. Now you're going to take the right side up from that other circle that's whole and pop it through. And then finger press right at the seam line. So it looks all nice. And we will give it a press. This will be a little bit tougher because it does have the stabilizer on the back part. But still, the process is still the same. You're going to pop it right side out. Okay. So keep bright fabric there. Okay. And then once you get it all turned right side out, okay, you're going to press it. Okay, you're going to press it nice and flat and then do a top stitch around the outside edge, okay, for both pieces. So you can see they're turned right side out, they're nicely pressed. I'm going to do a little top stitch just to make it all nice and pretty. This is a great way to make storage for your items. Um, things are expensive, there's nothing that's cheap or even decreasing nowadays in cost, so I'm using what I have to make. I need, I need like little bits of you know, storages for this and that, especially in the bathroom. This would be a great idea. And of course, depends on the size of your circle is how big your storage unit is going to be. Okay, so once you get all the way around, okay, trim up those threads. Don't want any wayward buddies. And now the two sections that have the holes in them, you're going to want to put them together. Okay, just like this one. Now this is some really cute fabric that was gifted to me quite some time ago actually uh, by Miss Claudette. It says Queen of Quilts and it's, I've used it for a few things. I made myself a um, um, do-rag um, hat. Okay, so what you want to do now is on the lighter part of the fabric, you're going to fold these two together, the two circles together, okay, and then over here you're going to fold it again in quarters, and then you're just going to use this as a little reference dot. You're going to put a dot right on the end of that triangle, okay? And you're going to open back up so the two are stacked on top of each other. Okay, and making sure, double temperature, you've got those two ends that are, like the, that are open or next to each other, because we're just going to seal them all in, okay? And then what I went is I went for about an inch and a quarter from the, the center point. I went an inch and a quarter over and then marked a line all the way down. And then an inch and a quarter over and marked a line all the way down and then switched it. So it was kind of like a circular nine patch at that point, right? It's just, it's just kind of sewn that way, okay? So here, go an inch and a quarter. There's one inch and there's the quarter and I'm right, resting it right on the line. And I'm just going to make sure I do a line there. I'm going to flip it over. Again, inch and a quarter down the line. Flip it this way. Inch and a quarter. I'm trying to get straightish. <laughs> Yikes. And then an inch and a quarter. And I thought about uh, like these for the bathroom, put your little um, elastics and, you know, floss and 
toothbrushes and all sorts of things. So now we're just going to sew down those lines here and here across, okay? Make sure they're lined up. We had a little shift in here. So. Did a little back stitching just to make sure those stitches were staying nice and secure. there. Okay. We will trim those threads in a moment. Back stitch in. Stitch on down the line. You can do this with like a fading marker or what have you. I was trying to make sure that you could actually see which one lined up. So. This is like a super really easy project to do. It's great to customize your space, have things at the ready. It could be great for paint brushes. You can put a little water um, jar in the center, a little paper towel in one of the little you know, side parts here to damp it. And the paintbrush. There we go. Now you can use a needle and a thread or we, we're going to throw up all these threads. They're just crazy. Okay. All right. Or you can just go to use your machine like I am. You just got to pinch it tight. Okay. Now we're going to take two edges here. Okay. We're going to take this where it's like a little pie shape. Okay. We're going to take those. We're going to pop this one out. Okay. So that makes a little pocket right there. Okay. So we're going to take this. And we're going to line that up together and then pinch that closed. And then right in there, we're just going to come in and do a little back stitch. We're going to come down two or three little stitches, back stitch, two little three stitches, and then back stitch. And that's just going to kind of lock it right in. Okay. But you could do this by hand if you wanted to. I have no interest to do it by hand. <laughs> okay. So down, back, forward. And back. And that should be enough to kind of lock it in. You don't have to go super duper far, just enough to lock it in. Okay, so there's one of them, and I did it on the opposite side and then worked the other one. So here we go. I'm gonna pop this out, line up the seams so it'll be nice and straight, pinch that so it, it encloses that little part there, and we're just gonna do a little tack stitching right there on the tip. We can just kind of squish it. And then start off, back, start off, and back, okay? And that just makes sure it's nice and secure. Okay, okay so there, that's what it looks like right now. Now we're going to do it the same on the other two sides, okay? So again, pop that out there. Squish the seam together. Put that there, and so on. You could use something decorative too if you want to. You could put a button on either side. I mean, you know, the options are really endless, right? I haven't said this in a long time, but you know, the, the only limitation is your imagination. Okay, and then again, pinched it and sew it. So in a few like quick little sewing, you got yourself a great little storage unit. You could pop some handles on there. And away you go. Okay. So let's flatten this out. And there we go. Just trim up some threads and your project is done. And custom. It's custom to, you know, colors for someone you love, for yourself, using up some scraps and bits and bobs, making space with your stuff. Right? So it could be scrappy friendly. You can use your stash. You can, you know, piece it. Do whatever you need. Whatever you need to have fun. Okay. Isn't that cute? And it just holds all sorts of things. Okay. And then this is a nice big pocket over on this side. It kind of goes down on an angle, so it's great for like pins or scissors. Okay, so you get like nine pockets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine right in there. So nine pockets of storage. And it four ten inch squares and some 
heavy inter stabilizer. <laughs> I hope you make one, okay? And like I said, if you want to do a bigger one, just make a bigger square circle, okay? So this one was done at 14, and it's a good size. It's a good size. It's a really good size. You could put a nice jar in there, fill it all sorts of things. It's got beads. Great for storage. Uh, please join us on Saturday, uh, which is tomorrow. We're going to be working on Cattle Call, the Highland Coo from uh, Art East Quilt Company. And I believe they have a discount code going on right now. Uh, check out their website, okay? I think it's 20% off. Have a good day. We'll see you soon. Big hugs. Stitches of love, you heed the soul. In this online world, we come to grow. Mom and Pop Quilt Shop, where hearts align, let's embrace the craft and let our souls.